And we talk about the surveillance capitalist model and how it vacu vacuums up all this information about you. There are these bridges, these halfway technologies that do help. Like even in America, like if you're using something like a strike or, or whatever, um, you know, like you, you know, you could pay something with your debit card and again, full KYC and, and then, but your bank only sees $50 to strike. It doesn't see what you bought on the other end and the merchant doesn't see who you are. So again, there's these mid ground solutions that are interesting that are, that are, you know, just providing a different paradigm. And then of course you have the whole bit refill um, gift card market, which is, which is much more privacy protecting. Like Matt Alborg from useful tulips did this study. Uh, and he was looking at Nigerians who live in the United States. I mean, they're earning cash full privacy and anonymous cash, right? Paper banknotes. And then they're going to like a CVS or a grocery store and they're buying a gift card with that cash. Again, no KYC at all. And then they're sending a photo of that gift card to their family in Nigeria, who then puts that up on Paxful and sells it and gets Bitcoin in their account. Again, Paxful has KYC, but you don't know where the money came from. So do, do you see what I'm saying here? That there's like these interesting kind of new platforms arising that are that are providing, like, let's call it half privacy. 